What is going on YouTube? It's your boy P, the Hood Sports Analyst, signing back in. It's been a minute since I've uh, hit y'all with a video. I actually recorded one last week and forgot to upload it, so I'll probably hit you guys with two videos today. Uh, before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Come check my, come check my, uh, my channel out. Getting started, first and foremost, I want to say shout out to Cal Colin Kaepernick for using his platform to bring awareness to police brutality, which was what the, the whole stance was about. The stance wasn't to stop it, it was using his platform, being who he was, to bring awareness to a uh, uh, situation that needed to be addressed by somebody. So, I want to start this video out by saying I appreciate him greatly for doing that. Every chance I get, I speak on it. Uh, I am not originally from Minneapolis. I'm from Silmar, California, but I live in Minneapolis. And if anybody knows anything about Minneapolis, we probably had two of the most controversial police brutality shootings within the last couple of years with Jamar Clark which actually which which actually happened uh, almost steps from my house and then uh, Philando Castile uh, I want to say rest in peace to both of those people uh, and all the other people that have died at the hands of police brutality okay moving right along um, I think people are starting to get the message mixed up because now uh, the message is basically this person against this person now it's Eric Reed uh, against Jay-Z now it's uh, Jay-Z undercut uh, Colin Kaepernick he should have spoke with him about the deal okay then then uh, for some people it's also uh, well hopefully this Jay-Z deal is a way for Colin Kaepernick to get a job so the movement is not about a job at this point, okay? Anybody with any knowledge on the deal knows Colin Kaepernick is a lot better than most backups in the league. He's better than some starters, okay? Me being a 49ers fan, being from California, I've watched Colin Kaepernick's entire professional career. I won't front like I watched him in college because I don't think many people watched him in college. They just didn't. We've probably seen glimpses or a game or two, but there's very few people who've watched his entire career. Okay? So, what I will say is his production did start to decline at the tail end of his career. So, right at the time that he was... The, the, at the height of the of the kneeling situation, his his, his stats were kind of starting to decline. Now I don't have the exact stats right here in front of me, and I'll be the first person to tell you my mind is not uh, uh, let's say vast enough to remember all the pe everybody's stats offhand and in my mind. If I need this, uh, uh, a reference or something, I'll go Google it. Okay. I got way other stuff to keep in my mind. I got three kids at home, a wife. I have a hard enough time remembering birthdays, okay? So, his 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 stats were starting to decline. Do I think he was blackballed out of the league? I think that was part of it. Another part of it was his stats were starting to decline, and in his mind, what he felt he should be being paid and what teams were willing to pay him were two different ends of the spectrum. Case in point, what I was told, or what I heard, or read, or whatever, however you want to word it, was that the Denver Broncos offered him a deal, and he said that the deal was not lucrative enough for him. Okay, so, the point he was in his career, do I think that he should have played for an amount that was under his means, no. But if playing in the league means that much to you, and sometimes you gotta pay, you, you, you gotta take a little less money 
improve yourself and then make more money okay that's just what you have to do um, I'll use like a person like DeMarcus Cousins as an example he wasn't in the same situation his situation was uh, injuries but I'm just using that as a gauge is that he was willing to take less money and to play and attempt to prove himself in hopes that he can gain another contract for more money okay another situation was he was offered a contract from the Miami Dolphins and what was said was that he showed up in Miami with a Fidel Castro t-shirt on now I don't have the exact population on Cubans in Miami but I will say they probably uh, have the largest Cuban population in the United States. That, would, that That's purely speculation. I do not have the numbers offhand, so don't quote me on that. I do not have the exact numbers. So, showed him to Miami with a Fidel Castro shirt, which was kind of a slap in the face for a lot of Cuban people, if you're familiar with who Fidel Castro is and what exactly Fidel Castro did, okay? I'm not gonna go into the specifics of that either because that's a whole different situation, okay? Then, the Baltimore Ravens were gonna sign Colin Kaepernick and he compared the owner and Ray Lewis to Samuel Jackson and Leonardo DiCaprio and the movie Django. Which, if you know about the movie Django, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was the slave owner, and Samuel Jackson was like what they would call the house nigga. Okay, so that was a slap in the face to probably the greatest Raven ever, Ray Lewis, and then the owner. Right now, I don't know exactly what was his basis of those comments, but. That's how it was worded on the verge of him being signed by the Baltimore Ravens. Then, Seattle uh, Seahawks were going to sign him. Uh, Pete Carroll, who is, from the best of my, my knowledge, a player's coach. He has took on some of the players that no other team would take on. He's taken on... Uh, just some problematic players, okay? On the verge of signing, uh, on the verge of signing him, they asked uh, Colin Kaepernick, well, what is your plan? Is your plan to, uh, to stand for the national anthem or kneel? I just think it was a straightforward question. They kind of want to know what his plan was. He uh, responded to them that he didn't have a plan. So, I think that was kind of a roundabout way of saying, I'm not gonna come out and just tell you guys what the hell I'm gonna be doing, okay? So they kind of let that be. All in all, uh, Colin Kaepernick has had quite a few chances to uh, be signed by a team. Now, as I said before I even started explaining all of that, I feel as though he was blackballed, but I also feel as though he had uh, a, a few chances to to, to get in the league, okay? So, now, we're moving right along to the actual Jay-Z deal, okay? Which is where all the speculation and where all the animosity is at, okay? And I'm feeling a few different ways about it um, uh, because the actual deal is saying that he is, that Jay-Z, uh, the deal is, he's like, the coordinator of live music, of like the live music performances, and then he's gonna be head of social injustice. Now what that those positions exactly entail, I, 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 I do not know, okay? If you're head of the live music department, which means you're probably gonna be uh, uh, scouting and taking care of uh, the live music acts, okay? What the head of social injustice is going to be doing for the league, I have no idea, okay? What people are saying is that he should have 
came forward and spoke to Colin Kaepernick about the deal. Now, I said I'm good in a few different ways because Colin Kaepernick also has had a few different deals himself, okay? One deal being the Nike deal. No, he has had a few deals. He had one deal and then he actually came out and, uh, and, and settled for a collusion case, okay? Settled on the collusion case and he uh, took the money. So yeah, Colin Kaepernick uh, settled and took the deal, which means the case did not go to a trial for him to come out and everyone to say, uh, or, or for the actual evidence to come out that he has been uh, colluded against, okay? Which is what everybody wanted. Everybody wanted him to take the to take the case to trial and for to put all of those owners that colluded against him and blackballed him to 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 put all of those put them all out on front street and embarrass him. That's what everybody wanted to see. But instead, you know what Colin did? Colin took the money. So. That's what has me feeling a few type of different ways is that it makes it seems some of these situations are all about money, okay? He turned down a deal from Denver because it wasn't enough. Then he goes and settles. He goes and settles and doesn't take the case to trial and settles and gets the money. So that 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 kind of has me feeling a uh, uh, that kind of ha has me feeling a way and it kind of has a lot of other people feeling away, um, and then he, t he he teams up with Nike. Which for, first things first, let me let, let you know. Uh, I spend so much money with Nike each year. There's not a negative thing that I will say about him. But people are saying that Jay Z should have came to Colin Kaepernick and talked to him before signing his deal with the NFL. Well. Why didn't Colin Kaepernick sign a deal with Puma with Jay Z? Is it? I'm, I don't. I'm not sure exactly what position Jay Z holds at Puma, but I know he holds a position at Puma. Why? Why didn't? Why, before signing a Nike deal, why didn't he go talk to Jay Z and say, "Hey, man, I'm about to, I'm about to sign this deal. You know what? What? What other kind of options out there?" At the same time, Nike is in bed with the NFL. Nike license the, the entire NFL you know right now it kind of seems that we're, we're we're trying to identify who we want to be mad at but at the same time we are looking like hypocrites in in, in, in the process right so Eric Reed is now bashing Jay-Z saying Jay-Z uh, uh, partnering up with the NFL is bur is burying uh is, is burying um, Colin Kaepernick's career, okay? But at the same time, uh, Eric Reed, I understand your stance, your sentiment, and where you're coming from. But at the same time, the same league that did your brother wrong, the same league that you are so against, you're still playing in. You know, all of this stuff that you're saying on, on Twitter and all this bullshit, you, you're... You're sending those messages from NFL issued Wi-Fi. You're probably say, uh, putting all that shit on Twitter in the fucking NFL locker room. So right now, I think that Eric Reed is probably looking the craziest because if you really cared about Colin Kaepernick, if you really gave a fuck about what the NFL said or what the NFL did to him, you would say, fuck this league and their money and I'm out of here. But you're not. You're still sitting there playing, right? So you obviously don't have too much of a problem with what's going on because you keep cashing the check and you keep showing up on fucking time, Monday through Saturday, and even earlier on a fucking Sunday, okay? Now moving right along to Jay-Z saying that we are past milling. Now, I think that what he meant and the way it came out is two different things, okay? Him saying that we are past milling I get exactly the direction that he was coming from. It doesn't mean that we're past kneeling as in fuck kneeling. That's a piece of shit. It's not working. No. What he's saying is, okay, we're almost going on 900 days now of kneeling. 
and 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 we haven't done anything. We've already we've already uh, we, we've already taken care of what the issue. Well, we haven't taken care of what the issue is, but we've already brought enough light to it. Now that we've brought enough light to it, and the light is shining bright on the situation, now. We have to act on the situation, okay? We have to go forward. So what he said was, now we have to, uh, uh, now we have to focus on actionable items. Actionable items would be having someone sitting at the table that looks like us. No, he's not gonna stop social injustice on his own. We shouldn't be looking at the NFL to stop social injustice because it's not gonna happen. But an actionable item would be somebody sitting at the table that looks like. Colin Kaepernick, somebody sitting at the table that can understand his sentiment, somebody at the table that can carry out the proper narrative. So that means having police chiefs, having CEOs, having owners, having people like that in the correct places to where there's not another Colin Kaepernick situation, okay? You know, if you have, Jay-Z is, is taking, well, at first when the deal came out, I had no idea that the deal was going to be, uh, for him to parlay into an owner deal, but I completely understand it now. Okay, if you put him in place and he and he becomes an owner, then that's one less chance of another Colin Kaepernick type situation happening again. Okay, so all in all, uh, we just I think we need to let uh, we need to see what's what what exactly is going to unfold with this whole Jay-Z situation and exactly what plans he plans to carry out and exactly how much stake and ownership and how much say so he will have. We just need to wait and see. I think there's a lot of speculation right now. People are calling him a coon. People are calling him a sellout. People are saying that he threw Colin Kaepernick under the bus, which I kind of disagree with personally. That's my own personal, that's my own personal opinion. I don't feel like he sold Colin Kaepernick out. I don't feel like Threw Colin Kaepernick under the bus. I I feel like uh, there's two grown men out here that are uh, pretty much on the same page, but that have kind of two different influences. Okay, uh, Colin Kaepernick was a huge NFL superstar, or not a superstar. I would say he was, he was a huge NFL star at one point. Jay Z being a mega star and is married to a super duper megastar so his influence and his platform is much larger if anything that we know is that every uh, almost every move up to this point jay-z has made has been strategic it has been calculated and it has been precise and majority of his situations have been a win and he has not sold out yet okay so i don't know why People are thinking at this point in his career, at a point where he needs the money the least, just came out last week and they said that he was a, a damn billionaire. So why at the point where he needs the money the least, would he sell out right now? I don't get it, but uh, I'm signing out. That's it. Please comment, like, sh share, subscribe, tell a friend to, tell a friend to come check my videos out. Um, and like I said, uh, I had another video that I had did last week and I did not upload, so I'm going to give you guys a two for two today, uh, signing out, and I appreciate you watching.